When photographers and videographers get their gear together, they make a decision on a lens. And sometimes they have a lot of choices like us, sometimes not so much. But I'm going to show you how to pick the best lens for the job you want to do. There's a lot of different kinds of lenses. One kind is a fixed focal length. It's called the prime lens or a fixed lens. And a focal length is measured in millimeters. And it's a number on the side of the lens or the face of the lens. And it tells you the field of view of this lens. It could be very wide, like this lens, a 20 millimeter. Or it could be telephoto, like this telephoto zoom lens, a 70 to 200 millimeter. Think about that. 10 times the reach of this little lens. So focal length has a pretty complicated definition, and we'll talk about that later on. But what that number tells you is the smaller the number, the wider the field of view. A 20 millimeter lens is great if I want to get a nice photo of, let's say, a field of flowers, maybe a nice wide shot of the stream as someone's paddling down. But a 200 millimeter lens, well, that'll get that canoeist from a good distance away, maybe from the bridge looking way down the stream. Or maybe I'd use this to cover a baseball game or a football game so I can get that shot of a, a player across the field. We're often working with a zoom lens like this. And this is a pretty common lens in our course. This is a 24 to 70 millimeter lens. When I have the barrel turned all the way to the left, it is a 24 millimeter. It's got a lot of pieces of glass in here all lined up so that as I turn this barrel, it becomes more telephoto. It'll never quite be telephoto at 70 millimeters, but instead it's a real nice portrait lens. So this is a nice all around lens that you'll be working with often in this course. The key thing though is to know what lens you're using and what focal length you're working with. So again, you'll see a gauge across the barrel of the lens, 24 to 70. And if you're uncertain, just look down the end of the lens and usually you'll see those numbers imprinted on the ring. Now let's take a look at what those numbers actually mean in some real examples. So let's take a look at how this works in real life. Here's a short collection of photos that I took at uh, the coast this summer, and they give you a sense of how these lenses work. The first picture is with a 16 millimeter lens, and you can see the sailboat kind of almost straight in the center, pretty darn far away. I'm right at the edge of the water, and you're seeing everything from the rocks to my left and a part of the pier all the way out. As we go a little more zoomed in, here's a 24 millimeter. And now you see that we've moved, you know, uh, seems to have moved that sailboat a little closer to us. You see a little less of the pier, a few le fewer rocks. Now at a 35 millimeter, Still have that pier, can't quite make out the boat. We move up to a 70 millimeter. Now at 100 millimeters, remember I'm doing this on a zoom lens, we're now uh, pretty clear with that boat. You can get a little better sense of it and not too much else around the side. And as we move up to 135, now the boat's straight in front, very few distractions. And the last reach is with 200 millimeters. That's the full telephoto and uh, now you can see that boat pretty clearly. After this we'd move into a much more expensive lens that sadly is out of my budget. But that's the run through from a 16 millimeter all the way to a 200 millimeter using zoom lenses. There's one last thing I'll tell you about lenses. Don't be tricked by the size. You've got to go by the numbers. For example, Here's a 30 milli 35 millimeter lens. Pretty close in reach, in field of view, to this little 20 millimeter. But it's a lot different in size. If anything, it's 
maybe it's a little closer to this 2470. Some lenses are flipped and the smaller size lens is actually more telephoto than the bigger lens. So the key is to take a look at what lens you're taking and what the numbers are, the focal length. And when you're using a zoom lens, to have an idea of where you are on this ring. As you turn this, on some cameras you'll see the focal length appear on the screen. In fact, on most of ours you will. And on others, sometimes you just got to take a glance and get a sense of where you are. So it's a good thing to know what the focal length is of your lens and what kind of lens you're using for what kind of shot. Thanks.